So number one is establishing routines. I remember when I first moved in, there was a transition period a week before class started so I could get acclimated to college life. I met plenty of new friends and they had a bunch of welcome events, so that was pretty nice. But when school started, the atmosphere, everything changed. It was pretty tough adapting to how college classes were taught as compared to high school classes. But after some time, it was about two to three weeks, I became more accustomed to how professors taught, how TAs taught, and the discussions and labs we had. We had three hour labs, what was required for each course, and also what worked best for me. Now once I knew what was going on, I could create a whole routine around that. For example, my Thursdays, I would wake up at 7.30, go to my math discussion, and study for a bit after that. At 11.30, then I would go eat lunch, and then head to my Japanese class, and right after that, I had a three hour engineering lab. I called my Thursdays my grind days because after that three hour lab, I would take a little break but then head straight back into studying so I could get as much homework done before the weekend. And so that was one day out of the entire week. And so I would try to figure out a little routine for each day and construct my decisions around that. So you may be wondering that if I have a routine for each day that I'm restricting myself and giving myself less freedom. However, that is not the case because with the routine, I can spend less of my energy on decision making, like wondering what I should be doing for the next hour, and instead do my homework right after class and then be able to have the time to do other things. And so creating this routine for academics, clubs, working out is extremely helpful because you don't have to think about actively doing it. It becomes second nature. So you don't have to waste energy on making decisions. It definitely made my life a lot easier. So that is lesson number one. When it comes to college, my time is within my own hands. I could spend it as liberally as I want, but if I'm not careful, money could be drip dripping down the drain right because college is expensive now as i progressed through the semester there were some really tough decisions i had to make because there were so many things to do and i just didn't have the time to do them and one example that i like to frequently look back on is one time mid-semester i had some chem homework and i was half a point off from getting a perfect score and it was only 11 questions so i decided to redo it and in trying to get that half point it took me another two hours to do that and was that worth my time absolutely not why why would i ever do that but because i was so fixated on trying to get the best grade possible i didn't recognize that it wasn't worth my time my time's worth way more than that one half point ever was and so after that incident i decided you know what i need to start prioritizing my time so after thinking about it contemplating i decided that my most important values were academics, then learning new things, and then teaching in that order. So if something came up, say my friends want to play soccer on the soccer field, I would weigh my options. Should I learn new skills on the soccer field or do I have homework to do? And I would base my decision off of that. Last but certainly not least is exploration. College is a unique experience with a large amount of people that have vastly different interests. And so there were plenty of events and things that I could go to and it's cool really cool i know i attended a bunch of engineering events and went to the makerspace tinkered around there learned about coding learned about formula i joined the formula club and there are just so many things that i could do and i had a great time learning about new things like designing and cryptocurrency but when exams started rolling around then i became a little more hesitant because i was studying but that is to be expected what matters is that i continue to explore next semester and i hope you do too so that concludes my top three lessons that i learned last semester my first semester of college which would be establishing routines prioritizing and exploring let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one